Welcome back to a brand new part. So I know that's pretty, pretty sucky. But let's get on with these the next bios. Whitney Chan. New Yorkers know Whitney Chan is the city's top investigative television reporter. She has taught that she is beautiful. When she was a teenager growing up in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, Chan teen watches a neighbor was wrongly accused of a crime and slandered on the news for days before being murdered by an angry mob. She told herself she would be dedicate her life to uncover the truth no matter what the cost. She had the smarts to graduate from Yale University, but Chang struck with good looks made it difficult to treat seriously in the news. In face of her own hand, she put her job as a host of music and video channel and snuck on board a flight to Iraq, arriving just as an American troop stormed by what her insightful photograph shot under extremely dangerous conditions. I'm sure she wasn't going to be just not pretty face. Now on the be in New York, Chang is known for her willingness to put herself and her cameraman through a great risk to get the story. Critics say she likes truth but prefers ratings and the only story she's truly interested in has her own rise to fame is it's true that Chen can't decide if she wants to be a Christine and for Oprah. You know what? She's capable of both. Time first encountered encounter with Chen occurred when he saved her from being collateral damage in a fight between one of Smith's gigantic robots and the cross species known as Iguana. However, the two did not exchange words until their encounter at Oscar Archives facility when they had both infiltrated the hopes of finding Kurt Connors' cross species research. There, the two forged a taking us in lines. And Chang soon tasked the whip slinger with taking on freelance photo assignments to go the city. That was a long bio. I hardly even speak it well, but that's her. The Rhino. I'm so glad he's mm. At first glass r on glance, Rhino seems like nothing more than an angry mindless cross species bent on mowing over anything or anyone stupid enough to stand in his way. His mere appearance is known to scare many into agreeing with no today's that Alistair Smith is right. That Rhino and all cross species are about nations that must be destroyed, yet the few who have have looked into his eyes and survived and reported their surprising symptoms and degree of humanity there. Almost a sadness. Unlike all of our cross species which were created after Kirk Connors has terrorized the city as well as their run was a result of pet projects as Connors is direct superior. Reggie Roth though. As Connors and Peter Parker worked to develop a serum that would ultimately turn Connors into the lizard, Roth had applied what he had learned through Connors' research to black market humans. Without the knowledge or consent of a superior that Oscar Rada forcefully enlisted the help of Dr. Michael Morbius, threatening to end the reclusive biochemistry career if he refused to help, Morbius reluctantly complied, applying the rhinoceros' DNA with which Ratha supplied him to a cross species serum similar in nature to Connor's own for the lizard. Uh, Rada's next step was to test the serum in his underworld clients, were all too happy to provide his Oblivious human test subject, a low level thug named Alexei Sistovich. If it worked, the Mafia would have had a new weapon on its hands. If not, no great loss. Oh well. So he's a human. After an excruciating painful transformation, Sistovich was now a hybrid of man and rhinoceros, ready to tear apart anything in his path. Rada's clients will be pleased. Unfortunately for the corrupted businessman, however, his own life was taken by the lizard before the transaction could be completed. Morbius soon would claim that he created the rhino entirely of his own volition with the help of Carnage's notes. Also known that amazing a human across that ethical line even at Oscar, Morbius referred to the lot farther delight to suggest that Rhino was in fact originally a rhinoceros that was in his community but only just a bitch news otherwise. Dang. So he's human. Even I didn't know that. That's cool.
So we have comics here. Oh, what? So these are actual comics I can read. First lizard. I don't know if I can show these, but... So those two bows are kind of interesting. <coughs> uh, so to retrieve the tablet should be an operative word, drawer pads, etc. Do that and look for a spider. I think it's over there. Take some pics of any enemy you encounter. I'll shoot you whatever I have on them. One pill in your set again. Here's the idea. What are fans getting their good food for you? I think there's a billboard. Cover me. This is 
gone up, but still worth it. Take a look at this. Huh, I should get a subscription. So... for my scrapbook. Side job as a freelance unpaid photographer. Nice. Let me have it. Six more. So I think it's Billboard of you. Oscorp is still saying none of this is their fault, of course. Amazing, if I do say so myself. No one showed up in my office today. What do you think? I don't even have to keep it, okay? Here we go. This will be a lot faster. I am a genius. Hey, I wonder if Oscorp is more of a problem than a solution. <sighs> Come on. Where is that comic? I hear it. without talking but you know what the heck is that thing? 
I know one's in a corner somewhere, but... Oh, well. these that's not the one I want but oh well. who cares it's a new suit Square over here. Yep, there it is. Except this don't start, they haven't really done anything except huh. I want to search up where the Oh. 
says Print is dead. We got a possible 1022 here. Battery reported. Over. <laughs> Consider it done. Huh. What's this? <sighs> I got the comic already. Like a good read. There it is. Focus ain't right. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Negative zone. Bye guys and have a good day.